All right, guys, welcome to your project. As you can see, I'm not here today. That's why I've made a video for you. Uh, but you are going to go ahead and start your project today. But before I do that, I want to get this out of the way here since we got this nice space. Perfect. Okay, so you are going to work with a partner and you are applying what you've learned about what a computer is, input, output, uh, processing, storage, right? All the stuff we've been working on for that last week, you're going to put it into a project form today. And you're going to put, you're going to create an app. Basically, it's going to be on paper, okay? So I'm going to walk you through these steps. As you can see, they're very well outlined, okay? Step one, find your partner and write your partner's name right there. Make sure your name is up here, okay? Make sure your partner's name is right there so I know who to give the grade to. And then it just tells you exactly what to do. Step two is brainstorming some problems, okay? Brainstorm interesting and personally relevant problems. Nothing's off limits. And don't worry about yet about how a computer science can help you solve it. So there's no limits, okay? And you're going to record your problem ideas down here in this space. So each of you will do it on your own paper. So everybody has to turn in your own paper. Step three, you're going to choose a problem. So think about from your brainstorm list. Make sure it kind of is an interesting problem. It can be well-defined and that the computing is relevant, meaning that the problem is an information problem that can be worked with computational thinking. So the computer can input information, process it, output information, whatever the case is, okay? So make sure you can define it with input, output, processing, storage, all that stuff. It'll make sense, okay? Step four is define your problem. You gotta answer this first question. What is the problem? Be specific here. Make sure I can understand what I'm reading, okay? Who does the problem affect? Okay, think about age, location, life conditions, audience, okay? How will you be able to tell that a solution to this problem has worked? So how do I know that that problem has been solved based on your app, okay? Then you get to step five, your app. You're going to give it a name and tell me what your app does. Short description, how does it help solve the problem? Why does somebody want to use it? All that stuff, okay? Then you're coming into step six, input, output, store, process, okay? So you're gonna sketch me a version of your app right here in this box, okay? And then you're gonna label the output information. Does that make sense? So um, for example, it might create a list of nearby parks. That'd be an output. Days until friend's birthday, that'd be an output. Whatever the case might be. So you're gonna give me a sketch of what the screen of your app is gonna look like in the first box. And you're gonna list me all the outputs right here. This is a rough draft. Doesn't have to be super colorful yet, okay? Then you've got inputs. What kind of information does your app need as an input to work, right? What are you putting into the app to get your solution? Now, there are six boxes here. You don't need to have all six filled, but I would like to see at least three types of input information, okay? So the example they give you is user age. Maybe there's a question you have to put in. They have to tell their age, all right? Who gives it to them, the user? Is it censored or is it external? Do they pull it from a database, right? or, and then the example of what that might look like, okay? Then you tell me what type of processing this might be, if then, um, compare all that stuff. And then what information are you going to store on the app permanently, okay? So that's step six. Notice, we skip step seven just for time, okay? Step eight, which you probably won't get to on day one of the project, is to finalize your app and make it a poster. This is where you add the color. This is where you add the pizzazz. This is where you make sure everything is labeled there, and you'll get that done and turn that in. Probably looking at about a three-day timeline for this project, okay? Now, you'll also be given a checklist and a rubric that goes with this packet, and you can look at that to make sure you've met all your marks. This project is two parts, the packet I just went through and then the final poster, and I could show you one, one real quick. Here's an example of a final product, okay? It's kind of what we're looking for. There you go. Good luck.